show you a project that I use with my physical science students in middle school. Uh, it is a variation of the mouse trap vehicle, but in this case, uh, we don't use mouse traps. We use three rubber bands, and it offers the kids a lot more opportunities to be creative. So let's take a closer look at what the assignment is. So the assignment starts with these things, rubber bands. They are one eighth inch wide, they are three inches long, they're cheap, they're plentiful, students can use them, they can try experiments, and if they break, that's fine, they get replaced. Uh, but the assignment is essentially the same. Uh, three rubber bands are stretched to give potential energy. Uh, how do we get this energy to make a device move? Well, that's the challenge. Uh, students can use them individually, they can loop them together into a longer piece, they can cut them and make it into an extremely long piece, but the assignment is still the same. Three rubber bands power a vehicle and move it as far as possible. Now we found these fit into one of four categories. So let's take a closer look and see what students have come up with. The first category are vehicles that are powered by turning the axle, which in turn turns the wheel. So a rubber band is stretched, it is wound up around the axle, and when it's released, it's the wheels turning against the ground which moves the vehicle forward. I know, we need like a little... <laughs> Twenty-eight feet. The second category of propeller-driven vehicles. Uh, you simply turn the propeller, it winds up as a rubber band, and releases, and the propeller is pushing air backwards, and the device goes forward. Our third category is called the slingshot category. In this case, the rubber bands are attached to the car and attached to a device of some type and simply stretched and then released and the car then goes forward, propelled by the stretched rubber bands. Uh Good job. The last category is one that I call other. In this case, it might be a cylinder of some type with a rubber band in the center and <coughs> uh, a stick on the one side, which is uh, allowing it to propel itself forward. We have rollback toys. And there have been some other examples that didn't quite fit into the other three categories. Uh, so we put them in this last one. Let's see it go. Well, that's the assignment. I hope you found that interesting. Uh, come back and see me again because I have other things I'd like to do. Okay, bye. Back to your